So I was sitting here and I was watching his video, and I'm gonna be making a lot of responses to this kid. But uh, I dragged through, and I was saying to my girlfriend, you know, I could stop this at any point, and it's complete bullshit. And then I stopped it here. A top priority is not. It's a little far. No. You know, I wonder if another 9-11 happened if you would be saying the same shit you're saying now. Because we'd all be scared. <laughs> I don't think you would. If another 9-11 happened, you'd be like, get them Mexicans. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was top pro I guess it's not supposed to be a top priority to, uh, you know, defend the American people, which Obama's supposed to do. Earlier, he's explaining how uh, Arizona has a lot of violence lately, and Arizona's a border state, and you got to get really tough on illegal immigration. This kid is always missing the boat, but for some fucking reason, prohibition never enters into his mind here. It never enters into his mind that the violence is fueled by money and that the money is fueled by illegal drugs. But anyway, let's educate ourselves. Oh, I'm sorry, let's educate ourselves. Yeah, it's, it's not a top priority, no, it's not. You're supposed to just let people slaughter American citizens. I guess that's what you think. Oh, and uh, let's let's review one other gem. Also, let's just not forget the Taliban. I didn't mean that, but that's okay, hilarious. With. That's why, you know, that's a problem. So, why is it over six... Okay, here we go. Equivocation and fallacy of the majority. Okay, so what anyway. are you saying? Sixty-one percent of the population is illegal. He just said that it's not the problem. Everybody wants the illegals out. What the problem is is illegal people, American citizens, and you know, uh, uh, legal immigrants that live here uh, are going to get pestered with. That's why you know that's a problem. So. Why is it over 60% of people support it, then? Yeah, you know, like if this was like Germany, 1939, and he was like, you know, all those Jews are fucking with us. And someone else said, but they're a minority. You can't just attack a minority. Well, why does 61% of people agree with it? You know, you live in a fucking republic, retard. The reason you live in a republic is so that the, the rule of the majority can't just walk all over the minority whoever that is and it's also to protect also it's to protect all sorts of things including your religious rights to be a dumb fuck I like to be robbed you know you're one of those people that like people to rob like you I guess you're one of those few one percent people that like to be robbed I like to be robbed and spanked <laughs> most of us don't we don't like to be robbed we don't like people you know, sucking all of our money out of our economy and taking it to Mexico. So. <laughs> okay, let's slow down a minute. North American Free Trade Agreement. Uh, definitely did not favor Mexico. Um, honestly, definitely did not even favor Canada. Although you could argue Canadians and Americans have been screwed over in some ways equally. Uh, you know, like a Californian company forcing MMT on Canada. Canada is, makes this big scene. Oh, look, we're taking out this horrible neurotoxin out of gas. And then they quietly put it back in with not nearly as much fanfare, obviously. And then uh, California bans MTBE. And once again, because of NAFTA, uh, Canadian company this time gets to force MTBE on California. So, anyway, sucking all your money to Mexico. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, the illegal Im immigrants in your country aren't making a lot of fucking money. If they send a little pittance back to Mexico, big fucking deal. You want to talk about sucking money out of America? How about fucking creating wealth out of nothing? How about fractional reserve banking? How about fucking, how about uh, corporate welfare? You know, sucking money out of America? Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know who systematically sucked America dry and destroyed the middle class? The rich that support the fucking think tanks that fucking feed people like Glenn Beck so you can go suck his fucking cock for information and think that you're edumacated. They can live high on the hog Why we are... High on the hog, because you know Mexicans live the best in the world. Trying to get jobs when we can't get jobs because they're fucking illegal working at that job. Yeah, man. Fucking illegals working at that job so you can't pick tomatoes for four fifty. You wouldn't fucking pick tomatoes for $12. Oh, only illegals can do it. It's too hard. 
Yeah, let's see you do it. In fact, actually, a guy that represents a bunch of farm workers was recently on the Colbert Report, and he's got a challenge out right now. Two, so far, two fucking Americans have taken him up on it. Two fucking white boys have gone into the field to work with him. I'm not saying white people can't work on a, in a field. I like farming, and I've actually worked on a farm. But you know what? If you think that middle-class kids are going to want to work for a fucking pittance and work 12 hours a day, you're fucking kidding yourself. Please, okay, I've seen the work illegals do. I've worked with illegals. They don't work hard anymore, first off. They figured out they don't have to work hard. That's a so, which is it? They're stealing your jobs, or they're lazy? <laughs> first thing. Secondly, a lot of the roads are, uh, most of the time you see illegals working out there, and another fucking illegal, and... I know, I know. These, these be fucking brown. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I guess that's why roads take so long to get done, because they have a bunch of lazy-ass illegals out there not even doing their job. Roads take a while to get done because they're fucking roads. Have you ever seen a road get built? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, fuck you. I want to actually have jobs fuck for you. Americans. Fuck so you. does Sarah Palin, you and Obama don't. Um, we, don't want, we don't like to be robbed. You do. Okay? No, but that's just it. You like to be robbed. You people. You particular form of right-winger that think you're conservative, but you're not because you let the fucking rich walk all over you instead of creating wealth for all of the population. You. You specific type of fucking brain-dead conservatives want to be robbed. You may not say it, but you're certainly fulfilling it. You know, when you prop up fucking people like you do and, and, and worship the think tanks and shit you do, you are making the middle class poor. You know, you talk a lot about fucking Ronald Reagan. You know, there's a lot of talk of trickle-down when Ronald Reagan was around. I don't know if you know what trickle-down is, but it's a myth. Turns out it actually trickles up. But basically, trickle-down is the idea, don't worry, is even if people make way, way obscene amounts of money and, you know, the rich are making so much and you're making so little, they'll fucking, you know, their little crumbs will trickle down off their big, greasy fucking chin and you and your family can nibble on that when you get a fucking job at Walmart. So, turns out, not only does it not trickle down, it trickles up. The fucking rich have fleeced the middle class and the poor, and you're too fucking stupid to realize it. And you'll keep attacking some fucking illegal immigrants like they're the ones fucking you over. Meanwhile, you're, you know why you don't have manufacturing jobs? Because people like you supported the fucking policies that took them away. And now people like you are turning on illegal immigrants because you're like, fuck, things suck now, I don't have a good job anymore. We like to have security in this country. You don't. I think uh, Sarah Palin wins and you lose. That's just my obs uh, obs observation here. Uh, you and Obama lose, Sarah Palin wins. Yeah, writing on her hand and all, being a fucking living joke and all. Just because you're a complete idiot. Oh well, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good one. Yeehaw!